hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is jason newland and this is let me bore you to sleep please only listen when you can safely close your eyes now let me have a look you know what I had something I had something to eat and some food and I was watching a YouTube video about crowdfunding and I watched the first one and it was about seven minutes long and then I watched another one and what I like to do I like to kind of just lay back a little bit you know in the chair and listen to it if the video's got slides and you know sort of animation and stuff like that then yeah it's uh, useful to visually experience the visual part of that visual video but if it's just talking then I can hear without my eyes being used so I just lay back in the chair and I woke up about an hour and a half later and I was I kind of was half awake and listening and when I did wake up I was probably an hour and a half, no, probably about an hour and five minutes into a film on YouTube about uh, crowdfunding. I was like, what? How did this happen? So yeah, just completely fell asleep. I'm almost hungry again which is a bit annoying and so I'm just sitting here I've got my little um, so I've got this little table do you know the sort of tables that you do you know the tables I have in hospital that go under the bed like the, the bottom of the table goes under the bed and it slides under and you can eat your dinner on it. Not on the bottom of the bed or the bottom of the table. The top of the table. The flat bit. And it goes, but it goes underneath. See, the, the table is near your belly or your chest or, you know, so you can eat. Well, I don't have one of them. Um, but I've got a kind of a similar, similar kind of thing that goes underneath the chair <sighs> not all the way but enough so I can have the laptop in front of me and watch telly at the same time because I've been in the process of uploading my podcast to podcast.co uh, it's just, I've got a new podcast with them where all my stuff's on there so I've been just over the last few days or so been uploading oh Andre's just run to the front door he's scratching at the front door doesn't normally do that it's, it's the half past two in the morning 
I'll never take him out this time of the morning. Um, <sighs> so I I've been working on that uploading sessions. Andre's coming up to say hello as well. Oh dear. Hello mate. Hello. You alright? You okay? You okay baby? That's my little boy. Is my little boy alright? Eh? Or you wanna go to sleep? It's your Leo's problem. <sighs> he holds more than me. You're my favourite little boy in the whole wide world. You're daddy's boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, today we went for a walk and... One of my neighbours has got a ferret. I say neighbour, he's... It's not like right close, but he's... The other side of the park. Mm. You can just lay there if you want, on my lap. You don't like that, do you? You just want to always be... He likes to be busy. Always likes to be moving around. I'm just going to go and sniff my toes. He's gone. He's gone off now. Did you? I don't. Know, did you hear that? He's now in the kitchen with his uh, girlfriend. But anyway, yeah, he was in the park, and there's an albino uh, ferret. Not f yeah, albino ferret. So it's like pure white red eyes cutest thing and I've seen him before a couple of times but not for ages because they got him probably about six months after I got Andre so he was a little baby and Andre was sort of pretty big by the time he was they got him but now he's probably he's bigger way bigger than Andre so it's because Andre's he's uh, he's a mix he's a polecat and a ferret he's not just a ferret so ferrets are bigger polecats are just yeah just ferrets are just bigger I suppose because they're for whatever reason but he's this one's heavy beautiful thing so cuddly and what's really weird is when I was holding him in my arms because I ask can I hold him so I put him in my arms the way that I do with Andre and I held his head and it almost looked the same just you know kind of held it so all I could really see of him was his eyes and his nose and his teeth and of course he got different colour eyes because Andre's eyes are brown but he just, just like the teeth and just, I don't know, it's almost identical and as I was talking to him not not the not the ferret but the, the other person because he was, he was holding Andre it almost felt like I had Andre in my arms It's strange, isn't it? It's because sometimes Andre is heavier and probably more in the winter than in the summer. But it was just I just found it really just it was almost identical. And then 
later on, a few hours later, we went up for another walk. And Andre was, like, trying to get into the house. He was, like, dragging me, like, sniffing, sniffing, like, really... Because all he, all he wanted was to... I spent, was going to spend some time with the other ferret, probably. So, yeah... So I um oh yeah, check out my website if you like. Um there's lots of good stuff on there. There's places you can gift me, you can send me stuff and you can contact me and uh I actually got a book today from Kay so thank you for that book um, which will be part of my library of books for these podcasts so I received that today so thank you and what else so it's Monday now it was Sunday it was Saturday as well, so yes, constantly changing. But let's have a look. So I changed the. I think I did three recordings yesterday. Or the day before, I don't know, I lose track. But I'm just having a look. I've got my laptop here, some of my stats. Yesterday I had 2,891 downloads, so that's cool, but I also had 815 downloads on my podcast.co podcast, so that, that obviously adds a few more, doesn't it? And my SoundCloud podcast, I think I had five. So I do. SoundCloud's weird. I, I I just I got another podcast with them. I like SoundCloud because I was with them f- for apps like ten years, pretty much, on and off, and I've had lots of podcasts with them. And I just I don't know. I just felt like I'd go back as well. Not go back just with them, but as well as the Spreaker and and everything else like that. So, um, so I'm not going to go through all the stats because I did that recently. I don't know when that was. It might have been yesterday. I completely lose track. But um, what I thought might be interesting is to google myself can you imagine if you'd have said that 15 years ago imagine so and you're making a podcast 15 years ago and you said I'm now going to google myself or maybe not 15 maybe 20 years ago or I suppose even longer maybe I don't know however long ago Google wasn't around and you said to someone would you like to listen to me Googling myself it would sound weird wouldn't it that's what I'm going to do I'm going to Google what other search engines are there Okay, let's have a look. Oh, that was loud, wasn't it? Sorry about that. Search engines. That's what I'm going to do. 
So I'm just going to look and see what's on here. Uh, <sighs> searching. So I don't use any other search engines really apart from Google so I'm going to try let's have a little try so I'm just looking lifewire.com the best search engines of 2019 oh Google's at number one duck duck go is number two Bing search is number three. Dog pile search is number four. Yippy search, never heard of that, is number five. Number six is Google Scholar search. Number seven is Webopedia search. I've never even heard of that one. Well, number eight is Yahoo search. Yahoo just won't go away, will it? <laughs> Yahoo it is one of the biggest internet things at the beginning of the internet. Yahoo. Everyone had a Yahoo email address and stuff like that. And, well, not everyone, but... Number nine, the internet archive search. I'm going to try all of them. Probably not much. I'm not going to use Google, but specifically not going to use Google. So let's go to Duck Go Search. So I'll get rid of Spreaker and get rid of Podcast.co. So just to make it, I've got a bit of space. Duck Duck Go. So I'm just opening up. Is Ask Jeeves still around? Do you remember Ask Jeeves? And it was almost... Do you remember like Jeeves and Worcester? A TV show when Jeeves was the... Like the servant of the aristocrat or something. And that's Stephen Fry and Hugh, Lor Hugh Laurie. Based on a... I think it was on a, like a bunch of books... Anyway, duck, duck, go. I already like it better than Google because it's got a picture of a duck in a little orange circle, and the duck's got a green bow tie. Well, it says, oh, going down, it says, we don't store your personal information ever. Our privacy policy is simple. We don't collect or share any of your personal information. We don't follow you around with ads. Wow, we don't store your search history. We therefore have nothing to sell. Nothing to sell to advertisers that track you across the internet. We don't track you in or out of private browser mode. Other search engines track your searches even when you're in private browser mode. We don't track you. And now it's just put the word period for some reason. Switch to duck, duck, go and take back your privacy. Oh. So basically they're selling themselves as the search engine that doesn't track you. So let's put in my name. Jasson Newland. Now straight away, I'm not pleased with the results of this. <laughs> I'm not, because I should be number one. I should be the number one Jason Newland, because I am on on uh, Google. So, although Jason Newland, MD, who's my namesake, he is he's a paediatric doctor 
he kind of deserves to be at the top really because of what he does but um, I'm usually above him in searches there's also a cage fighter called Jason Newland as well but here's what's coming up at the top so this is the world the world because it does give an option for United Kingdom which is me at the top so I'll go back to the world Jason Newland MD and then me Jason Newland hypnotist podcaster and daddy to Andre the Ferret so there's my website uh, it just says Jason Newland hypnotist counsellor podcast and daddy to Andre the Ferret over 1,000 free hypnosis mp3s since 2006 the next one is Jason G Newland um So I think it's the same one. He's uh, Washington University Physicians. He's areas of research. My work is focused on the impact of antimicrobial stewardship programs in children's hospitals. So he's doing amazing things. Uh, it's an interesting on Google. I'm not saying it's all about me on Google, but um, on this one, the Duck Duck Go, he's at the very top. He's then third. He's then fourth. So there's a lot more about him. Well, it's kind of a mixture between me and him, but he's number one. I'm two. He's three, third. He's fourth. Then I'm fifth with my YouTube channel. Then he's six. Then I'm seven with my Stitcher channel. Then I'm eighth with my tuning channel. I'm ninth with my speaker channel. And he's tenth with uh, public wealth health rather. He's he's on lots of different like health channels and stuff. And oh, there's a Jason Newland plant safety. So there's a this one on LinkedIn, and then there's me again, Facebook, and there's another LinkedIn 30 plus Jason Newland profiles. I don't know if I'm in that list, but I am on there. Then there's Jason Newland in California, CA. The white pages, so I wouldn't be on that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm in this next one. It's called, uh, the headline is Jason Newland Mugshot. And it's W, it's mugshots.com. So basically, it says Jason Newland Arrest. So this is people that mug shots of criminals and stuff in America. Well, I guess this is that particular one is in America, but I don't know if it covers other places. Then Jason G. Newland, who's the Wow, it gets better and better he does. So now it says the latest tweets from Jason Newland at Jason G. Newland husband, father, triathlete and pediatric, pe pediatric infectious diseases physician dedicated to the appropriate use of antibiotics. I can't really compete with that, can I? I almost feel guilty for being ahead of him in on Google. Oh... Just, just on the name though, I mean. Oh, there's another one. Jason Newland, co-owner, co head coffee roaster. Oh no, I just clicked on that. I didn't really want to see that. Oh, he's got a beard. Maybe all Jasons have got a beard. I wonder what the doctor looks like. So he's, that's LinkedIn. New Zealand LinkedIn. Then there's hypnosis for 
sleeping deeply my st on Stitcher, so that's me. Dr. Jason G. Newland, MD. It's there again. He gets around. So what's this about? So this is care care dash dot com. Dr. Jason Guy Newland, MD, is a male pro no paediatrician in St. Louis. He's affiliated with Dr. with St. Louis Children's Hospital. Public records indicate that he received eighty five thousand nine hundred and five dollars in payments from medical companies between 200, 2014 and 2018 which is more than a majority 100% of paediatricians nationally he is licensed to practice by the board in Missouri I don't know what they mentioned that for and then it says no medical board actions found so almost like implying something when he's clean as a whistle which is a, a something that I've never said ever out loud clean as a whistle and he's a doctor he's helping people wow Good luck to him. If he's helping to save lives, he deserves to get 85 grand extra. Agenda Washington University, St. Louis. That must be him as well. Wow. This is me on Facebook again. That's the Facebook page rather than my normal page. The next one down is Sleep Insomnia Hypnosis, Jason Newland on Apple Podcasts. Ah, oh, there's another Jason Newland. This is Jason Newland in brackets, Charles, 34, from Naperville, IL. Is that Illinois? Well, I don't know. Um, Acrim anti micro antimicrobial stewardship conference. Wow, so this is this is Jason Newland MD again. So he's he does conferences, he's really out there doing stuff. Oh it's another one. Jason Newland in California. This is on Spokio.com. In California. Oh, it's him. Children's Mercy, Kansas City. Wow, is it 175 research items? 7,770 7,770 reads 7,777 reads 2,345 citations and this is in not. I'm going to save that because I don't I'm looking online for research stuff but I just never miss a lot of it is oh, you can we sign that one for free. So, ah, that's interesting. So I like to look up anything connected with hypnosis or you know my things I'm interested in. 
So that's that's okay. That's on duck duck dot go. No, dot dot duck duck go dot com. Jason Newstead. No, that's not good. Oh, Jason Newland free hypnosis service on Apple Podcast. So that's me again. Jason Newland on Pocket. I don't know what Pocket is. Getpocket.com at JD Newland. From opposite ends of the ideological spectrum, they made the case that social breakdown among low income. Oh, I've got no idea what that's about. Guesses on Twitter. Yep, it's me. At Jason Newland. So that's me. Jason Newland, the police reporter dot com. <laughs> so apparently I was arrested on the ninth of the ninth, two thousand and nineteen. In Highland Court County charges, one failure to appear, two parole violations, and I've been fined five thousand dollars. Oh no! God, I'm a naughty boy in America. Oh, I'm here. I'm back again. Listen to hypnosis for sleepy hypnosis, or for sleeping deeply. That's mytuna-radio.com. So there's not, there's literally only, there's hardly any Jason Newlands that I found. Ah, me and the doctor. The doctor. That's strange. Oh, I found another one. This one's a teacher. I'm starting to get interested in all the different Jason Newlands out there. Instant checkmate. Ancestry. Let's have a look what it says about me on the ancestry. Jason. Wow. Someone here had my middle name, or had my name as their middle name. Harley Jason Newland from 1920 to 2001. And this is relatives of Jason Newland. Oh, look at this. Apparently, born in Wincon, Wincons, Win, Wisconsin, United States, on the 1st of November, 1887, William Henry Newland and Lillian May Grover. Oh. But then, I just that's the sentence, it's not even a proper sentence. Jason Newland married Edith H. Steffens and had two children. Passed away 29th of November 1962 at Klamath Falls, OR. Is that Orion? Orion or OR? William Edith H. Steffen. Hmm. Huh. Oh, I don't. So they clearly they named their named their kid nineteen sixty two twenty thirty four fifty six. Yeah. Chase, Jenny. So look, people with similar names. Grace M. L. Newland, eighteen ninety two to nineteen forty two. Claire May Newland, 
born 1882. Ida May Newland, born 1882. Jenny Newland, born 1855. Ida Newland, another one, born 1872. George Orwell, no, George Orville Newland, born 1892. Walter Newland, 1892. Grace Greenwood Newland, born 1857. Pearl Newland, 1887. Elsie May Newland, 1890. Gertrude Myra Newland, 1891. And Arthur E. Newland, 1884. Well, this is an interesting look. Surn surname meaning for Newland. Historically, surnames evolved as a way to sort people into groups by occupation, place of origin, clan affiliation, patronage, parentage, adoption, and even physical characteristics in brackets like red hair. Many of the modern surnames in the dictionary can be traced back to Britain and Ireland. So it says here, so my name, farmer, 28%. Labourer ten per cent, keep in house six per cent. And it says huh. Apparently it's a big name in Pennsylvania. Scotland I got a little bit sidetracked didn't I Amazon.com Jason Newland Digital Music I'd like to know if I'm selling stuff on Amazon I don't recall Wow So there's another Newland here but he's uh, another surgeon He's writing books Robert Newland He's a uh, he write books on operations and surgery. Huh. So I'll get rid of duckduck.go a go go whatever. Now let's look at Bing search. Let's see what comes up. It'll probably be the same stuff but Jason Newland. So, in Bing, I'm at the top. I say that almost like I'm kind of proud of it, but it's more of a factual thing because I just generally. I almost sometimes feel a little bit like, oh, I shouldn't really be at the top because there's this doctor that's, you know, doing what he does, but. I've been around for a long time as well. I've been uh, making video, making videos. I've been making websites and posting them online and stuff since 2000. So that's 19 years of being online, like with my own websites. 
So I guess I'm going to be on there. So jasonnewland.com. That's at the top. That's where it should be, really, I think. Bum, ba dum, bum, bum. Jason G. Newland is a second. And he's um, on Twitter. That's uh, his Twitter page. Third down, that's just uh, LinkedIn 30 plus profiles. Now, there are some images of Jason Newland. Only one of them is me. It's an old image from playout.fm. And it's me from, I'd say, 2011. And there's, I think it's the Doctor. And then there's another one. Alumnius.net. Yeah, there's, so there's two for the Doctor. One for me and one for, again, it's arrest. So that's the, the criminal. That's interesting, isn't it? But, 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 but. There's my YouTube channel and there's free pictures of videos on there. And then bing.com slash videos. And it's me again. Three free pictures of videos. The next one down is me again. Jason Newland's free hypnosis service. That's for tuning. Then there's my Facebook page. My Spreaker page next. Then Jason G. Newland is on a website called researchgate.net he's also again uh, it's the P P I can't say the word pediatrics dot russell dot edu I guess that's the university he goes to or he goes to he works at he's an author as well Well, so I'll move on from that. I'll just uh, I'll go to the next. Well, that's weird. Sometimes I will come across something that I've not seen before. And this is one of those times. A website called owltowel.com. Let me have a look. Owl tail. Oh, so it's got my... Yeah, so it's free hypnosis service podcast. I don't recall Owl tail. Maybe they just took it. Some... Some podcast hosts and websites just take stuff off the internet and they just embed it into their own websites, which is good for promotion, I suppose. Podchaser. Jason Newland's Healing Hypnosis 5. Podchaser.com. Oh well. So there's nothing. There's cast box. Oh, I'll move out of that one. Let's go down to the next one. So that's Bing Search. Dog pile. Great name. What do you think of when you think dog pile? Dog pile. A pile of dog. Dog pile. I don't think I've ever used this before. So there's an image of a dog 
holding a ball in its mouth with a multicolored ball and there's a little dog house uh, a little way away from it so that's it so let's have a look oh, so I'm just basically putting my name in and seeing what comes up so there's adverts so that's not really relevant because that's always going to come up although I don't I'm not sure if I saw any adverts on the Bing I might have done I find what's interesting though is the adverts that come up that connected with what I do so the, these are the adverts free self hypnosis audio the potential your potential is limitless eocinstitute.org super deep natural sleep master stress so they're basically <laughs> linking sleep hypnosis sessions to me they use in those adverts so yeah anyway I'm at the top of the list on this one so jasonnewland.com my Spreaker podcast is second LinkedIn comes again 30 plus Jason Newland profiles and then my YouTube channel tune in channel and then Jason Newland MD comes in and then my Facebook page Jason Newland MD Dr. Jason Newland comes up ah oh, did I mention this is a co-owner head coffee roaster this is in New Zealand so me and Dr. Newland have got some competition from another Jason Newland Ooh, in New Zealand as well Got some competition, and there's a few other bits and bobs. My stitcher and director. The doctor, doctor's got a few bits. It's just, yeah, and even more adverts for hypnosis. Blimey! Let me just have a look what it does for images. What kind of images it has? So it has the doctor, and then there's a picture of someone I don't know, and there's a picture of me, the same picture on the other website, the, the last one I looked at, then there's a picture of me from about 2012, and then there's, as it goes down, there's more and more pictures of me just like from videos and stuff like that picture of Andre there's a picture of me holding Andre there's a picture of Andre licking my face there's a picture of me from the from the um, newspaper article that I did in 2006 picture of me from daily hypnosis day 63 It's a picture of me. Here's weird. This is weird. And I kind of... I feel quite nostalgic. But... When I first moved into this flat... I... I brought, a, brought with me the old chair... That I had downstairs. Or downstairs in the other place. And I brought that with me. And I had a, a big white throw over it that my dad gave to me. And there's a picture of me lying on the floor with my head resting on a bit of a sofa or something. This is before Andre came into my life. 
So we're probably looking at the summer, maybe June time, 2015, is that right? Fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, I must have moved in here in 15, 2015. Why am I thinking it's 2014? That wouldn't even make sense. So 2015. So I put it back June 2015. I'm laying on the floor with my back to the wall with the chair next to me and I don't know what video I made but I made a video and all things considered it's quite a good picture don't know why I mean quite a clear picture I mean it just looks weird it just looks weird like lying on the floor next to a chair it's definitely not the strangest picture I've ever had. The one is a picture of me. It's from YouTube. And I've got a big beard. Big, big beard. And it's proper grey at the sides. Wow. And that's not, it's not long ago. It's not that long ago. tell by the top I'm wearing it's definitely we're in the last year oh, there's a big picture of Andre I do like that I love seeing his pictures right so that, I'm going to come out of that website I'm going to look at Yippie search now Yippie search Powered by IBM Watson. I don't know. It's got a colour t-shirt. It's a pink and a black t-shirt. Underneath the search bar. It says. Show your support for America's search engine. By wearing the official first edition Yippie t-shirt. So it's America's search engine. Yippee, or is it yippee? Um, I don't know what IBM Watson is, but I'm going to put my name in. I might not come up if it's an American search engine. If it's like only about people, might be focused just on, oh no. I'm number, t number the top of this one. But my friend Dr. Newland is number two and number three and I'm number four that's the Spreaker so my, my, pod, my website's at the top what does it say there's 16th date 16th of the 9th 2019 that was when it was probably last updated Yippie Index V Oh. And there's a few more just between me and Doctor Doctor Jason. Stitcher, YouTube channel. Tune in. Stitcher. Yeah, it's just more just between us two. Let's have a look what the oh. I don't see anywhere for images. It just seems to be pictured. There's no images. Oh, it says top 50 clusters. So number plus pediatric is 16 in brackets. So that would be for him, wouldn't it, doctor? 
prehypnosis 13 in brackets. So that'll be me, I guess. Yeah. No, ah, if I look at topics, what does topics come up? No, there's no images. I thought there'd be images. That's that's interesting. If I put the word image, Let's see if something comes up. No, nothing. Well, it does, but there's no images. Unless there is. Oh, no. Oh, how interesting. I'd have thought that it had been... Wow, so Yippee doesn't have images. So I'll get rid of that one. So, what's the next one? Google Scholar Search. There'd be no point going there because I'm not going to be. I'm not. I haven't got written a book or anything. So, what's this? Wik Webopedia.com. Webopedia Online Tech Dictionary for students, educators, and IT professionals. Ah. Enter a term. I'll put in a hypnosis what's coming up. Nothing's coming up for my name, so it's not really. Oh, should we come? Let's have a look at Yahoo search. Yahoo. Or do you say Yahoo? So straight away, Yahoo's come up. It's almost like a, uh, like a, a magazine. If that makes sense, like an, a magazine page, but with, you know, options to. Here's a weird thing. I mean, yeah, Yahoo's a multi-billion dollar company. And the headline is stress causes stars unborn baby to stop kicking. It says Rachel Riley, blah, blah, whatever. The baby's fine. But stress, not stress. So they even misspelled the word. It's probably not a big deal, but come on. Especially when it's talking about an unborn baby. Spell the words correctly. Stress. There's no T. Ah. <sighs> Trending now. Thomas Cook, Corbin Aid quits car insurance. Chelsea v Liverpool. Rudy Giuliani, Annika Rice, Deliveroo, Emmy Awards, Better Way, and Singapore Grand. 
wonder what car insurance is about. Isn't that interesting? Straight away. Wow. So you click on it and it just brings you to all the different car insurance companies. When the whole point of clicking on trending is to see what why it's trending. So Thomas Cook it's got the web and talking about their their issues with might be closing the company. Annika Rice, click on that one. And she's sort of come back on television or something. Oh, isn't that interesting? Car insurance has now been taken out of the list. Ah. I know what that was anyway, I do. I'm not going to tell you. But I know. I know something you don't know. Blah, 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 blah. So let's search my name on here. Surprise, surprise. I'm number one again. Eee. And LinkedIn is second. So my website's number one in the search. And then again it's just a mixture between me and Dr. Jason Newland. MD. Let's have a look what the images are. I do find it interesting that the images are exactly the same as the images on all the other search engines. Wonder why that is. Then you got the Internet Archive Research. No, the Internet Archive Search. So I'm just going to click on there. Let's have a look. See where. If I'm on here, so I am not on here. So this is waiting for archive.org to find my 2019. No. Search text contents. Uh, so look. Andre, stop that. So look, so text contents. Oh. I think, I think there is American Library's book for people with print newspapers. So a look, Let's see if there's anything in newspapers. <laughs> ah, archived websites. Now that'll be more of an opportunity 
based on the amount of websites I've had. And it takes me to the Wayback Machine Internet Archive. And yes, oh yes, oh yes, websites come up. The top one. Wow. I forgot about this. Free stop hypnosis. Free stop smoking course dot com. From 2009 to 2010. And it's archived the jasonnewland.com from 2007 to 2016. So it archived the. Uh, I don't know, the pictures or something. Wow, look at this. See, this is stuff that gives me mild goosebumps. It reminds me of what I used to do. So get, look at this. Between 2008 and 2010, and I've talked about this before, and it was mypodcast.com, Buddhist J. Let's have a look what it says. Wayback Machine. It says stats. I don't know. Capture, so we captured it 165 times. So that's what they mean by stats, and I took pictures of it. I'm just going to have a look. Wow. I can't believe it. It's got, this is, so this was for a podcast I had in 2008 to 2010. So that's 10 years ago nearly it finished. And... It's got a list of, and I'm pretty sure I had that podcast before. Pretty sure I had it in 2007, but anyway, mypodcast.com. Go back and see what it says. So it took a screenshot off the website. Wow. Seriously. It's got a screenshot of the website. Yeah, look. So the archive. Um, blimey. So this is from... Monday, May the 19th, 2008. Okay. Whew. I need to start archiving this stuff for myself. It's a really nice picture. So this is the podcast. It's got purple and like red squares, but then purple. And I've called it Relaxation and Chronic Pain Relief with Jason Newland. That was the heading, and then free relaxation and chronic pain relief audio sessions, www.jasonnewland.com. And under the profile, Jason Newland, Colchester, Essex, so I must have changed it when I moved. My life work is to help as many people as possible to reduce their chronic pain. Go to my website to find out more about my free services www.jasonnewland.com Wow And it actually goes all the way back to June 2007 So that's when I started the podcast June 2007 
I'm just clicking on that to see if anything comes up. It does. It does. Wow. I'm getting excited here. So the very first podcast I had on this podcast host was June the 11th, 2007. According to this. It doesn't make sense for some reason. And the only reason is because that's probably just a snapshot of one page. But anyway, it says here Introduction to Free Relaxation and Chronic Pain Relief. And download this episode two minutes. So it's a two minutes introduction. It's at 147 downloads. That was Monday, June the 11th, 2007. And then Audio 14, which is a bit of a rubbish title. That was again on June the 11th, 2007. 167 downloads. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through each month and see what comes up. I love this. I'm genuinely loving this. Oh, come on. Oh, nothing's coming up for that one. I'll try again. Try August 2007. Yep, that's coming up. Oh, there's no, this is just the background. Oh, come on. Come on, please give, give me the proper page. Oh, okay, November 2007. Let's see what comes up there. Nothing. December 2007. Yay! The thing is, this podcast doesn't even exist anymore. So these are just snapshots of the pod of the website of the podcast that's just been saved. So you know, it's not even online anymore. So I found Sunday, December the 30th, 2007. Audio 19. Um, download this episode, 31 minutes long. Free chronic pain relief audio session. Change color and shape of your pain. Recorded by Jason Leland on 10th of the 11th. 07. JasonLeland.com, jasonleland.hotmail.co.uk. It's 125 downloads on that one. So what is that? December. So that was made in November. So let's go to January 2008. See what's on there. Oh yes, brilliant. That's coming up. So. Oh, this is great. So look at this. January. 2008 January the 7th so it's a Monday and this is audio 20 it's got 133 downloads and so it's 33 minutes long it's called uh, relaxation session recorded oh yeah that's what it says here on Monday the 7th of December 2008 see back then I was keeping track of when I was recording stuff and then I just stopped doing it until recently when I started keeping track of the dates again I've written down this is my first audio recording of the year for 2008 and is for all those people who would benefit from deep relaxation including chronic pain sufferers 
those with sleep issues, anxieties, etc. Just give it a go and the more often you listen, the more effective it should be for you. And then I've written, please let others know about this free service I offer and please let me know how you get on. So it's love Jason Newland, kiss, jasonnewland.com, space, www.myspace.com forward slash Buddhist J. Wow. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's 11, nearly 12 years ago. Good. Well, we're now in the end of September 2019 so yeah another four months and it'll be 12 years since that recording was made and what was that Monday oh the next one is January the 8th Audio 21, 106 downloads, free chronic pain relief audio session. This session involves deep focus on the problematic area. Wow. And then I've got another MySpace page, myspace.com forward slash chronic pain relief. And then the third one, this is on the 9th of January, 2008. Audio 22, so it's 223 downloads. Uh, long relaxation audio session, full body relaxation. Recorded 9th of January, 2008 by Jason Newland. So that's that one. And then Saturday the 9th of January 2008. Audio 23, 32 minutes long, and it's chronic pain relief session. Uh, this session will involve you remembering a time when you were either sitting or lying on a beach in the sun. You will be imagining that your whole body is made of butter melting in the sun. It's 118 downloads for that one. So that was January. I'm going to have to... I'm just going to go through a colour lovers. And then bring this recording to an end. Oh my goodness. Radio interview. I forgot about that. I had a radio interview um, in 2008 in it basically says radio interview with Northern with Northern Sound 2 a UK radio station and it was seven minutes long. Blimey, I've lost it. So there's 142 downloads of that one. So that was, oh, 13th of the 2nd, 2008. Because I've had two radio interviews, I think three or something like that so this is now March 2008 so there's quite a few here 10 minute relaxation session 118 downloads there's another 10 minute relaxation session 121 10 minute chronic pain 108 Session 26, 30 minute chronic pain relief session, 128 downloads. 
10 minute relaxation session, 131 downloads, 10 minute chronic pain relief. This is March the 10th, 2008, 114 downloads. March the 10th again, 213 downloads for instant relief, better sleep session. 144 downloads for another 10 minute relaxation session. 134 downloads for 10 minute chronic pain relief. Session 32, it's 19th of March. Relaxation session, 37 minutes long, 210 downloads. And then, let's go to April 2008. Two thousand and eight, or as a greeting greeting message. So that's that's all I have there. Wow. If I go out there, August two thousand and eight. Wow, so this, I remember this now. Now it's making sense. Um, so I have this memory. And sometimes, you know, with memories like, uh, am I remembering correctly? And Because this podcast really started to grow. By a lot. Because I'm just looking by... June 2008 by June the 29th I had 359 recordings and I actually lost a lot of them but by that time I was getting more downloads so for example session the 359 short chronic pain relief session with sounds of wind in the background, live session, 13 minutes long, 990 downloads, which is pretty good, I do believe, for back then. Just looking at May. Yeah, I've got a uh, So I don't know why I've got session one, relax session remastered, 26 minutes. I think it might have been one of the professional ones I did, but 544 downloads. And then in August 2008, I've got the deep relaxation audio session, which was professionally recorded in a recording studio and I got 1,778 downloads of that one it's 53 minutes long um, oh that's interesting so I'm telling people about myself this is my first ever professional recording at a recording studio so this is August the 30th 2008 I'm very excited to be able to finally offer this product to you. As a lot of you may know, I've worked hard over the years trying to help as many people as I can with my free audio sessions. They have been quite popular with people from around the world. I'm averaging 10,000 audio downloads monthly. I feel that's quite an accomplishment considering I've been spending my own money to provide these free audio sessions. Also, I've spent thousands of hours promoting them as well. The main reason I've decided to produce this new 54-minute recording is because I really want to offer the best quality service as I can. The sound of this audio session is a hundred times better than anything I've ever done before. I'm very pleased with it. I hope that you benefit from this blah, blah, blah. So, it's... Wow. 
So that's, yeah, I was, that seems to be recent posts. I'll click on, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. No. I'd love to see the overall stats, but it's not allowing me to. You know, the overall stats for the podcast. But that would probably only have been um, available at the back end of this, you know, signing in and stuff. It wouldn't have been available to the public. Which is a shame. Isn't it weird? Isn't it strange? My podcast, but it's Jay. My podcast says lots of archive one. Let's have a look what this says February. Oh, there's a lot more links a lot more pages I can see but it's just more of the same just different audios and you know the stats for each one oh, it makes me wonder I wonder what other stuff so if I come out of there Jason chronic pain free pain relief wow this is the first website. Well, it's not the first website, but it's the first um, proper uh, website that I had for the hypnosis that really kind of kind of took off. I say took off, but it was. I was getting traffic, getting people come. Where is it? Free hypnosis. Where is it? Free pain relief. uk. So let's just have a look. I've forgotten what it looks like. So this is two thousand and six to two thousand and thirteen. And it's still up now. It's a different, but I gave it up and someone else took it on. So I'll be interested to see. Just going back. What it looked like in... Two thousand and six. Oh, let's have a look. Click. So thirty-seven captures. So I'm guessing I found the two thousand and six one, which would be me. I created it. Well, I created it. I. I I think created it is the right word, but I, I kind of did. Because the people that took over the website, they made use of the traffic, kind of, I suppose. Oh, it's not giving me a picture because it was done with Abode, Adobe Flash Blocked. Basically, it's not showing it. Oh, two 
2007. Never mind. It's not showing me because it was needed. It's basically got the message that would have originally been on the website saying you need Adobe Flash Player to launch to you know to see this website. <sighs> Free smoking hypnosis course. JasonNinnan.com. I've already done that, haven't I? No, I haven't, have I? Let's have a look at that. So, 2000. So, I still, okay, need Adobe Flash, but he's given me free hypnosis audio sessions for. Oh, it's the chronic pain relief group wow I forgot about this so this is um, oh this is the third April the third two thousand seven Hi, my name is Jason Newland and welcome to www.jasonnewland.com. This website is here to help people worldwide with chronic pain and relaxation issues. Everything I do is free. I lead five weekly relaxation groups at chari charities in Ipswich, Suffolk. I currently volunteer three times a week at Norcas and two times at Iceni. I mean, I forgot about that. I knew that I was volunteering, but I didn't didn't realise I was doing it five times a week. So it's five group recordings every week, of five group sessions. And what's it? I record my group sessions and upload onto this website for everyone to listen to free. Yay! I also put here, I've sent out quite a few free audio re relaxation CDs to various hospices around the country. I hope they have use to you. Hmm. Wow, I've just found something. found some testimonials from the past how amazing is this this is back from 21st of February 2007 on the way to my driving instructor's test I felt calm and relaxed this enabled me to control my lesson and think clearly about what I had to do thank you so that was the, and then, wow, I just I'm not going to read them all out but it's that is kind of interesting which means I'm going to save that page come back to it another time Because I've got some written testimonials, like people wrote to me, and 
nerve pain test. Oh, testimonial. Wow. When I looked at the word test, I didn't realise. I've got a list of testimonials. One, two, three, four, five. Five there. Leg pain testimonial. Oh, look at this. Thanks to Jason, I now have no more pain from the injury. Jason is unpretentious, has an ability to explain things very clearly, and thinks outside the box. Uh, give a session a go. The only thing you can expect to lose is your own particular irritant. Yee. And that was 2007. So that is 12 and a half years ago. Groovy, baby. Groovy. So I'm going to go. Um, this internet thing's quite cool, isn't it? I really should have another look. So take care of yourselves, everyone. Remember to be kind to yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love.